Hello Jigs and Girls, you probably know of Robert Evan Howard as the creator of Conan the Barbarian. You may also know him for King Cole and Solomon Kane, two more of his characters uh, who follow this uh, archetype of adventuring Celtic um, person in the past having various adventures or stories and he was very known for writing action stories to not only weird tales but he was writing straight action stories with boxers with adventures in Arabia during World War One, historical adventures featuring sometimes women etc and what you may don't know or you may know that but uh, he's not that well known for is that he also wrote horror stories and he was a close friend to Howard Phillips Lovecraft they were even though they never met they were mailing to one another and um, they were kind of making plans uh, for one to visit the other but never made it so he has a lot of horror stories and also if you go into some of well-known fantasy stories like a Solomon Kane or maybe some of his Conan tales you can see that deep down their horror stories only the hero is badass enough to you know be the monster so today i'm going with this book the haunted of the ring and other tales and i'm not sure where else you can find the story but we'll talk about the horror from the mound which i think is a prime example of a horror story when you put one of the action story protagonists in there and uh, you get something that's quite interesting and this story is very simple we've got Steve Brill, who is a cowboy, he has leased a um, plot of land and uh, wants to cultivate it, but then a catastrophe happens and uh, all his, uh, everything he planted is destroyed by the weather, so he is destitute. Uh, he doesn't know what to do, but he sees a Mexican um, worker on a nearby field and notices that he always returns home before dusk and that's weird because Mexicans work uh, until after uh, nightfall because they want to have as much work done as possible because they're paid by the acre he is, I think he is, uh, what do you call it? yes, he was chopping uh, mesquite trees and digging up their roots and since he is paid with the acre it's unusual for somebody to return to finish before nightfall and also he notices that there is a mound in his uh, plot of land and he notices that he walks around and so he asks him and he says that his father told him a legend about this mound and that's why he won't go near it but also he has sworn not to tell anybody about it but to but uh, you know talk about the secret of the um, mound and yes you've got some Lovecraftian um, vibes from the story the mound but no it's nothing like that it's uh it's kind of weird it's uh, um, the mound is a more robert howard type story with a protagonist that is out of a lovecraftian story and this one is more like a lovecraft story only with a robert howard protagonist yes we're going into the spoiler territory now yes it's it's a very old story there's a link below you can read it for free because there's no copyright our protagonist brill is like yes but you can write it down and he realizes that there's a loophole in the oath he has given his father. The Mexican goes to his place to um, to write it down. Brill, however, is like, there's probably gold down there. And I should probably dig, dig this mound up and find out what's down there. And so he does. He finds a Spanish spare in the mound as well as a grave. So since there is uh, no light, it's uh, night has fallen, he goes to bring a lamp and uh, upon returning to the mound he sees that somebody stumbles away from it and he suspects that it is Lopez, the Mexican worker, who knew that there is treasure under there and he went uh, after um, he saw him go away to steal the treasure. So he follows the figure to Lopez's house and he's a scream. He goes in there and Lopez is dead and he's bleeding from the neck. Here is the manuscript that uh, Lopez has left him and it's uh, the story of a vampire 
that uh, was uh, following the men of an expedition, of a Spanish expedition, and they buried the, the vampire in this mound. It was a Native American mound before that, but they dug up the bones and put the vampire in there. That's why when our protagonist was digging, he found that the charcoal was not in a layer, but it was all over the place and it was weird. A Native American tomb. Um, yeah, so he fights the vampire and he wins. Uh, which is very Robert E. Howard and uh, it's a nice story it's a good uh, traditional vampire story with little surprises I think what was interesting is the main character being a uh, action hero who is afraid, who is deadly afraid of a vampire and he is lost and he's disbelieving the whole surreal situation and uh, he triumphs uh, barely uh, which, is, which makes the story interesting because it's out of the cliches of, you know, of all those characters who scream, who run away, who fall victim or they're miraculously saved. No, he fought for his life and he won. Uh, and that makes him quite an interesting character, I guess. Um, there's nothing... Uh, the writing is solid. Uh, Robert Howard has written much better tales in his life, uh, but here it's, it's a functional story. It works quite well for the genre and for its era and for its purpose. Um, it's quite an interesting mix of, you know, for Southern adventure story and a horror story. It's a um, very traditional vampire, of course, uh, but it's interesting. The lore is interesting. The pacing is interesting. There are no surprises there. Uh, you know where the story is going already. Um, and I mean, it's called Horror from the Mound. So, yeah, you know, there's a horror in the mound. <laughs> And um, yeah, it's 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 of its era, and yeah, there is some language of its era. There are some uh, derogatory comments about Mexicans, and Lopez is a bit of a caricature. But uh, yeah, what you can do, um, it's a story of, of its era. Uh, so yeah, it was quite interesting, quite fun to see the hero fight the monster and win. Um, Robert Howard has more great horror stories. I mean, I could easily do The Black Stone, or People of the Dark, Graveyard Rats, or Pigeons from Hell. There are some of his more well-known uh, horror stories, but you know, maybe I'll do it some other time. Maybe in 2022, I'll probably do more uh, short story um, analysis videos, not day after day, of course. But I'll try to add some stories here and there and, you know, try to go into more deep, deep dives if they allow. I uh, hope you had fun. Uh, we're nearing towards uh, the end of uh, the month. I hope you're not tired. Uh, if you're not, smash the like button and I'll see you tomorrow. Stay spooky.